Welcome again to another episode of Socially Irresponsible's Off the Cuff. I'm Ashley Watson. I'm Ed Brady. And I can't believe this shit. <laughs> All right, so today's article is coming from the Lad Bible. Headline is, Woman plans to marry Tetris after failed relationship with calculator. Oh, it's already getting good. All right, 20 year old mathematics genius, genius, <laughs> is planning to marry her new boyfriend following the breakdown of her previous relationship. They say that all sounds pretty reasonable. I'd <laughs> like to disagree with that, but until you learn that her last relationship was with a calculator named Pierre. <laughs> I don't know if it's more ridiculous that she was dating a calculator or that the calculator was named Pierre. So Pierre's buttons, uh, she delighted in licking. And she's currently planning to marry a copy of Tetris. We could have been a good couple. We could have had something special. But you one crazy ass bitch. Is this photo that she's holding up of Tetris appropriate? Like, would Tetris want her showing us all of this? I don't feel like see, it's a rather personal image. I believe it is. I don't want to see the inside of Tetris. That's Tetris's dick pic right there. That, that's basically <laughs> what it is. And then he's bragging. Look at the high score. Look at the high score. That's crazy. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Nurul Majbin Hassan identifies as an uh, objectum sexual. Uh, for the uninitiated, that means she's... She fancies objects and has previously had lot the hots for monorails, GPS systems, and iPods. I'm not really interested in like romantic relationships. Mm. I've tried romantic relationships with humans and they never worked out. Yeah. Never felt anything. She's all about that tea right there. Uh, all she's about crazy. That. And she's uh, straddling <laughs> it like it's in a chair in a strip club and she's oh, about to God. make that money. Like this is ridiculous. Is that a is that a nursing shirt? Is it a chili? Oh, no. Those are the Tetris necklace. Looks like a chili pepper from here. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> oh, this is just too bizarre. So the math students from uh, Orlando, Florida, prefers to go by the name of Fractal Tetris Hraken. Uh, because why not? <laughs> she enjoys nothing more than surrounding herself with Tetris memorabilia at home and hopes to marry the game once she graduates her from her course in two years. Priorities. I can imagine how she like approaches like when it's bedtime. She has a Game Boy on the bed and she's like, yeah, I'm going to press those buttons. I think she has to fit that big T in her bed maybe. Hey. More like sunshine sunshine me happy What's going to rain? So it, I, I think she goes on to explain it here. Fractal, which uh, that name is growing on me, mm -hmm. uh, also claims to enjoy a physical relationship with Tetris by using an assortment of Tetris-themed objects, including a hard drive and a Tetris cushion. I think Tetris is so beautiful. He's about perfection, and he, apparently, we're now calling Tetris a he, uh, stimulates your mind. Physically, I get that feeling that that people get in relationships, you know, that they're the right one. It's probably worth mentioning at this point that Fractal is only attracted to objects she perceives as male oh. and stresses that objectum sexual is sexual preference as opposed to a fetish. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, no. This Thanks. is a fetish, <laughs> full on. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> you never know, dear, how much I love you. Okay, a also, this whole objectum sexual thing, does that apply if you think of people as objects? Can you... <laughs> We've been getting in trouble for that for years! <laughs> Just objectum sexuals, that's all. <laughs> you helped me figure it out. I'm coming to the club. I did any of y'all say anything. <laughs> I'm objectum sexual. Before she became romantically involved with Tetris... Fractal was in a committed relationship with her calculator, Pierre, says his buttons were one of the most attractive features. I love touching his buttons, the feel of his buttons and trackpad. I loved running my finger over that, and I used my tongue to touch his buttons. I like generating random numbers and multiplying them. You have pica. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> oh, God. I'm this sorry. Lady, I didn't mean to interrupt She's you. never going to get a job. She's never going to get a job. <laughs> 
In a circus, maybe. Because they're going to feel like she's molesting the computers at work. Don't I can't wait to find out why they broke up, though. She has yeah, a mustache. You see that one? Oh, my gosh. I want to say I'm married to Tetris and have a legitimate ceremony with friends. I want everybody to be there. You know, like Mario and the whole gang. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be an official thing, uh, which would set in stone and say, I love you and want to prove it to you by making it permanent and calling myself Mrs. Tetris. Yes, the marriage aspect is purely ceremonial. Obviously, I can't literally marry an object. Um, it would just be me having a ceremony with Tetris. Personally, I'm open to love in all shapes, whether it be L-shaped, T-shaped. <laughs> I catch you with a fractal and me and you gonna have problems. I don't think there's much more to be said about that. <laughs> so we want to give a big shout out to Fractal and her new Tetris hubby. We want to also say to the calculator that got his processors broken, we are so sorry you had to go through this. Um, for anybody else that's in this position, just remember, all data matters. All data matters. Something's fucking wrong with you. <laughs> we are us, you are you, and you're fucking sick. Later, fuckers. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. <laughs>